So a ROS2 or ROS1. Well, ultimately, we would like to run our UR5 robot via, or at least our simulator of this robot, via ROS, and potentially also use our WeeBots as well, depending on whether we want to use a simulation environment as well. Um, but essentially, luckily, the Yale Robotics, or the, in fact, it's the Yale Social Robotics Lab, have got a setup guide for the UR5E robot, which is ours. Um, and there's instructions to follow, installing the simulator, um, and then installing ROS. Now, ROS is a whole collection of packages, um, or individual programs, and they often refer to that as a plumbing. Um, and there's a desktop version, what have you, etc, etc. Um, and Catkin is a built tool that's used. That's what that, that is there. Uh, but it tends to run, I think I found out that uh, ROS1 uses uh, Python 2, and it's and the, the, the bit I was going to get to is that, okay, this is this is all set up nicely, or tells us how to set up for uh, our, our drivers. Now, um, I'm talking about this is about this is referring to Catkin about the the work uh, having a workspace and downloading drivers. So I think potentially if these drivers work with either one or two, then they should be usable within two. And why am I going to? Because well, look, this one has got it. There's a uh, there's there's information in the Scans Lab one to to install that and build it in from Catkin to install the. Uh, uh, all the information uh, for the robotic gripper and potentially the camera and get it onto the, and then just move it and we can con well they show how you can control it so potentially all of those things can be done in ROS2 we would hope uh, if we look at some of the tags I've got open um, just a few in no particular order, maybe left to right. Talks about Colcon. Colcon is a, a package, a newer package that's used for ROS2, and the idea is to, um, it's a later version or it's an iteration of the build tools. So potentially Colcon is the, the future. There's a link to a universal build tool, justifying it there. We'll get rid of that one. This is where we started from. Uh, if we if we find out about the the uh, the distributions, if we for example, click on download for for this one. Sorry, where is the information about it? Uh, is it distributions for the wiki? It tells us about the distributions, about what they are, and that this noetic ninjamis is uh, is the one we we want to use if we're using ROS one. End of life two thousand or twenty twenty five, which is plenty of time, you would hope. Um, might take me that long to get it set up. Uh, but anyway, so the interesting thing is that it does talk about the releases, that this one is the final release of ROS, ROS 1. Further ROS releases will all be released on ROS 2, so ROS 2 is the future. So whether we're jumping in too early or whether we should maybe give it a go, I don't know. But that's that's where we are. So uh, we've seen this one about the schedule. In fact, that's the same, same tab. There's tutorials for ROS 2. So there are some tutorials, but it takes a long way down to get to the sort of... Oh, the other thing as well that, that's, that becomes more clear is that each of the bits of the plumbing of, of ROS, each of the little individual programs communicates with each other, and, and potentially I think ROS2, I might be completely wrong, is has, has got more of a, uh, a rationalised sort of networking sort of system underlying it, and that it's... Uh, and potentially... As I say, it's the later version, so it, it should be pretty good. Now there was also the, on the, so we have this is your tutorial for ROS2. Um, we've seen the setup guide from Scanslab. We know who they are. Thank you very much, Scanslab. Uh, but there are also, if we look at tutorials, now we talk about WeeBots and ROS2. So it's actually there. So ROS2, and that is the next one. So I think there's this is I've gone backwards. So I started off by looking at this. So we start off with a, a tutorial for the 
for the core for messages then we have an example of launching WeBot and then I think if I went back one more there's another tutorial of using ROS2 with the universal robot which is exactly where we want to be with our robot now this is some monster gripper it's a three-fingered gripper it's not the one we've got so I'm hoping that the SCARS lab gripper that's actually for move it I think or let's see what are the visualizations I'm not sure if it's move it or whether it's it's visible in another tool um, our viz um, but that looks exactly like the tool the gripper that we want in fact it is it's a 2f85 gripper there were some there was some um, detail of problems in the uh, in, in WeBots now um, WeBots may be something that we don't get to because there are simulation environments of course with in ROS um, but essentially we can install WeBots as well in our on Linux um, as well as um, uh, ROS2. Now there was something about ROS2, uh, let's maybe get go about this one if we went to download <clears throat> and we went to Windows so we say let's install ROS2 in Windows it says okay let's go for we don't want to do for source, we want binary package that's great but there's still a lot of prerequisites that's all these ones so although uh, the Visual C++ Community Edition is all free and open source and what have you Visual, in fact it's Visual Studio I suppose Community Edition um, it's potentially going to be a bit more long winded to install those things and especially when we look at Linux where uh, where we're just installing on what's 2 building, building, installing, we just want to install it we want to build it um, we, it's much more straightforward. I think it's just a download using the Debian package. Let's hope you can add the app to repository. Uh, hopefully, we don't want to actually. Is we're making there. Uh, not sure, but it's there. <laughs> Okay, let's just look. So I'll be cutting out long bits of this video to try and get to where I want to go. So, okay, this is a plan. We're going to try and install ROS2, like WSL2. We can test it because there is an example about um, uh, about checking that you've got everything installed. Uh, I don't know if I'm looking at the right page. Pay ah, install binary? Yeah, I'm looking at the right page. There is an example of telling us you know you got a letter oh, in fact here we go this is it so we have a talker and a listener um, and that should work um, so we forget to there and that'd be great now the only thing that's a bit dubious that was a bit of a worry to read was using this ROS1 bridge that is p potentially because of some of the tutorials or examples or the robots themselves that weren't actually available in ROS2 and it talked about the turtle robot and things like that in but let's let's maybe give it a try so we'll see how far we can get in for a penny in for a pound perhaps so not sure which way around I'd like to maybe get some success with the wee pots but let's maybe let's maybe let's maybe go and get this one so let's see if we can actually uh, maybe get rid of this one if we went from here, how do we go on? So um, we maybe want to do that. I'll go to our download. Okay, that's exactly where we were. Binary package for Debian. Here we go. So we want Debian packages. Maybe I maybe I click somewhere else. So now we want. This is exactly what we want to do. So we want to be following this while we while we run it in our terminal. So I've got my Windows terminal set up to drop me straight into here. It is it is almost my downloads directory. But let's go to home. Let's see if we're going to do it from packages. Let's go to my home. Just to remind us all what we've got installed. We've got some targzs which could be deleted. We've got URSIM version 5.9.1 and URSIM version 5.8.2 installed. Um, ready to go. 
today let's 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 focus on this so our locale I'm pretty sure we have I don't know if I can just type locale and get our locale uh, okay that's great all UTF 8s it's all nice um, yeah I don't know time zones Melbourne but that's all right it's all UTF 8 I think that's the main thing is it says make sure we have a locale which supports UTF 8 I'm pretty sure we've got one let's uh, let's try and make these two sit side by side okay now there we go locale so we just set our sources up this is going to be just copying copy and pasting we need to get the right key we need to get okay so we installed some packages here what do we actually install oh grading lines okay new package GNU PG2 whatever that is and these two so we upgraded ones as well uh, okay let's see what else happens Okay, nothing much happened there. So now, uh, the repository to your source list. So this. What's it doing here? Okay, so we're adding an extra package from Ross. Uh, LSB underscore release, it's actually going to ensure that you get the right list in there. sorry the right version of Ubuntu in case you're not familiar with that LSB underscore release let's see what it's going to tell us minus CS I'm sure that's going to say 20 point oh, focal that's a name it's a name I think that one gives us everything so we have CS was a code name okay so now we need to install our packages so we're going to actually it's going to actually ask us to well we should update the package list because all the ROS package if we've added sorry the repository we won't necessarily have got a record of what's in the repository on this machine so uh, the refers to the ROS ones that's done now it's got upgrade we can sort of uh, 15 package can be upgraded that's going to be our normal upgrades. Yeah, look, can't help myself. What's it called? Python. Okay, utils. Let's go. Might as well. Let's make sure the install is up to date before we install anything else. Now it's the desktop install for ROS2 so this is this is it this is where ROS2 itself gets installed and it's fairly big so it's going to um, take a little while so obviously I might speed this bit up well there we are that's fairly painless now Set up your environment by sourcing the following file. I'm not sure what um, what variables that um, set up, but let's um, we've got set up bash. Okay. Ament now. Ament has got something to do with that Colcon. There we go. Ament current, current prefix. Okay. 
Alright. Let's do the other bits in there. Let's see what does that actually give us. Current prefix, prefix path. What's that one? Options Ross Froxy. And the other one. Current prefix. Current prefix. Okay, both the same. Okay. So I meant uh, that's the only thing that set set that start it off with that. So we got um Alright, so now we're ready to do an uh, example. So, in one turn, I'll set it. Okay, so we've got that one. Uh, complete. Now, it'll be quite nice. A um, lot of completion. Not sure if we've got our complete. Okay, our complete looks like a Python package. So, let's make sure we've got that. Uh, we've done the source bit here. Let's do the terminal. Let's put it below. Sh is it Shift Alt? Shift Alt. Underneath. That's it. That's good. So let's on the top one. I'm not sure if I've got if I need to do exactly what it says, which is run that sourcing again. So just to see if we've got any. Uh, let's just echo some of the ament forms, isn't it? No, nothing there. So let's do that. Just try that again. And the other one. Definitely there. So we shall do this. Now it's quite possible we need to find out how to make sure that's sticky. Which I think we'll find on our UR5. Although. There are lots of things about keeping to keeping sources on this one or sourcing. Let's just finish this off. So now we've done that. So if we just do the echo, let's uh, yeah, we've got some stuff there. Okay, that's good. So in one window, we need to have a C++ talker. And the other window, we need a Python listener. Which I think and maybe that's maybe enough. Do we need to do that? No, that's a talker. Copy. <laughs> Mark that up, I think. Yes, I have marked that up. listener okay so we have a publisher and we have a listener hooray okay so this is great so there we are so it seems that we've managed to install correctly the api so it just at least verifies the apis are running so see the tutorials and demos for other things to try So, tutorials, beginner, walk through them, configuring my environment, introducing turtle sim. Okay. Now, we're going to start off with understanding what all our talkers and listeners are going to be. We're going to be a million miles away from looking at a robot, I think, at the moment. It should be down here, packages. So, let's leave the video there.